Hi, in this video I'm just going to compare the CBI timer switch with the generic or universal DIN rail timer switch. This particular one happens to be made by a brand called Major Tech. And this is the MTD8 versus the QAT TRDM. Right, first things first, uh, they both fit in a DIN rail. As you can see, both the CBI and the uh, Major Tech fit in a DIN rail. The CBI one can also fit in the Samite rail, meaning it can also be in the DB board with these type of circuit breakers. The DIN rail timer can only fit in the DIN rail DB boards. You can get a little adapter for these if you'd like it to fit into the Samite DB boards. Alright, before I close the DB board, I just want to show you the differences in terms of how it is wired. Both the CBI and the MTD8 require a neutral connection to the neutral rail. So starting with the CBI one, you can see there is a neutral going from the neutral. It is clearly labeled. This is a very easy timer to connect. You can see it says there, line, neutral, live. So it only requires three wires to get this timer working. You can see there is the neutral connected directly to the neutral rail and the live is connected via the circuit breaker. And there you can see the wire going from that circuit breaker. That means that if you do disconnect the circuit breaker, the timer will show you that it is offline. Uh, there is a new generation of CBI ones. The older ones were a little bit unreliable in terms of outages. For example, if the power went off, as you can see it is shown on the screen here, but the backup time was much lower than the new ones. The new ones are improved and they can tolerate a much longer outage. Now this unit uses a supercapacitor as its backup power source, while the MTD8 I believe uses a rechargeable battery. Going back to the layout of how you connect it, you can see that the load is connected directly to this point over here, clearly labeled, and the screws as you can see are of the circuit breaker type. As compared to the DIN rail one, which requires a much smaller screwdriver, and also the slot where you put the wire is also quite a lot smaller. For example, this is the MTD8, and as you can see, it just fits the conductor for this size current carrying capacity of 20 amps. While if you look at the CBI version, it's got a much larger area there, and I generally find the CBI is easier to work with considering it is the same tool that you would be using to adjust. You see there is the screwdriver and that is the same size that fits circuit breakers. While this particular screwdriver would not does not fit in the major tech or the MTD8 slot over here. Going back to the wiring sequence here, you can see there is the load. So the sequence would be from your circuit breaker, round loop to the top, into the timer live and when the timer activates it will be shorting that point there to that point there and then these are your outputs. So it is just a three wire system very easy to use. Looking at the current carrying capacity the CBI has a maximum current of 21 amps for resistive loads and 10 amps for inductive loads. The major tech has a maximum loading of 20 amps and inside I have confirmed that there is actually a 25 amp relay. Okay, looking at the MTD8, a little bit more complicated in the way you set it up. Firstly, there are numbers. So you've got to consult the insert in the uh, package to see the wiring layout. Now, in terms of the MTD8, you will see that there is a pin 1 and pin 2, and that is for the supply voltage. So if you look here on the top, you can see the pin number 2 is going to the neutral. One thing that is not shown here is there is no numbers on the front. So you have to actually view it from the top or at least have an additional unit nearby to copy the numbering. So the neutral wire goes from there to there and the middle one over here there is only one additional pin that is the positive. This is spe specific so it is live on the left and neutral on the right. Having a look at the bottom, it follows a different methodology compared to the CBI. If you look here, you will see there are three slots here. Three, five, four. Yes, that numbering is like that. 
and what you will do is you'll connect four to your supply now either you can use this as a normally closed setup or a normally open the cbi does not offer that function the cbi is normally open and when the timer activates it goes into a closed function while the major tech one or the mtd8 one what it does it is a normally closed if you have it between slot three and four and then when the relay activates it will then open but for most applications you will be using slot five and four when the timer operates it will go closed so four and five will close and that is the way i've set it up here, over here if you look closely the supply coming into the timer is going into slot four and the output goes via pin or slot five the numbering here is a little bit illogical and it's not something i enjoy about this timer it would be logical if the numbering was sequential like three four or five rather than three five four and also there is no numbering on the plastic over here in terms of the screens the mtd8 has a very small screen which is not easily readable if you're looking at it from an odd angle for example if your timer is at a low level maybe it's uh, next to a pool pump uh, you'll find it very difficult to read the screen while the CBI has a much better interface in terms of reading the screen. In terms of programming these two, they are completely different. I do have detailed videos on how to program these. The most important thing I'd like to bring to your attention is that the CBI one only has a single programming sequence. So that means that you can set it to be on at that time, off, on, off, on, but this is a single 24 hour period meaning that if you have it on at six o'clock in the morning and off at 12 o'clock in the afternoon that will be repeated every single day you cannot change it for a monday a tuesday or uh, have it only on weekends while the mtd8 is much better in that you can configure it daily weekly and I'll even show you the different options. You get a lot of variety here. For example, you can have it just on a Monday. You can have it just on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then you can have it weekdays. You can have it every day. You can have it just weekdays. You can have it weekends, Monday through to Saturday, midweek. You can have it every second day and so forth. So this gives you a lot of variety. The major tech is a little bit more complicated to set up while the CBI is very easy. It's a touch screen. You just press function and uh, as you can see you set the clock and thereafter uh, you set your program going with this little almost like a dial. Uh, one of the features here is that you can bypass at any time and you can have the timer in a bypass mode which means that the timer is now in a manual mode. The MTD8 also offers a manual override. As you can see, you press this button. It's a little bit more confusing because you have to press it a certain amount of times. For example, it's off now. Now you put on auto, then you see it's on, and then you say it's auto again. So you have to understand the methodology they've used. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just a bit more complicated in how it works. Right, just for complete accuracy, the MTD does come with a little cover like that, uh, same as the uh, CBI. Now, just having a look at the readout here, you can see that I'm at a slight angle. Uh, this is about five centimeters below the horizontal plane. And even at five centimeters, you can see it becomes a little bit challenging to read. Now, this one has this one having larger numerals is easier to read than that you can see this one becomes a bit challenging almost intelligible if i go a little bit lower you'll see what i mean so if you have a look here you can still see that it's 722 1922 but here it becomes very difficult what makes it more difficult is very small symbols here like whether it's on auto on or off and then the day of the week, Tuesday. So you have to have, you have to be very close to this timer to read it. As you can see now, I'm very close to it. You can see the small little text. In the final part of the video, I'm just going to show you the physical dimensions and mass. 
can see that is 85 millimeters and this one pretty much the same at 86 millimeters this one is just over six centimeters and this one the cbi is 65 well if you add that little piece there 66 millimeters what's very important is how much space it will take in your db board so if you look at the width of this you're looking at 30 just under 35 millimeters while the cbi if you're looking with this cover on is 39 millimeters but you can take this cover off and if you look at the width you're looking at 35 millimeters if you're going to be exporting it just to give you an idea of the mass so you're looking at about 124 odd grams for the major tech and the cbi is coming in at 132 grams